Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here today with my boy, Maverick. I don't know how long he's gonna sit with me, but I thought I'd show him off since he was in my lap. Um, but by the time you are seeing this video, I think I'm gonna have it scheduled. So it's probably, it's probably Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Uh, that's sort of where this video is gonna line up in my schedule. Um, so Merry Christmas to everyone who's celebrating Christmas or happy holidays to all you non-Christmas celebrators out there. Um, so I thought for this video, it's going to have to be kind of a quick one um, because I'm starting filming at 4.30 and as I've said many times, in Canada we don't have a whole lot of daylight and that's what I use for my lighting. Um, so if this video looks a little darker than usual, that's why. And the sun is going to be slowly going down as I'm talking here. So um, I'll just jump right into it. But I thought it'd be kind of like a fun video to just kind of talk about uh, the holidays, like um, sort of just give you guys an idea of kind of like my Christmas traditions and I'd love to hear in the comment section below like what your Christmas traditions are um, just because that's always fun fun to hear um, so the way my family does Christmas um, so we kind of have always done Christmas at my I have one sister um, and my parents are still married so they obviously live together um, so we've always kind of done Christmas at my parents' house. Um, obviously growing up we did, cause duh, we lived there. But even like into when my sister and I both moved away for school and like then after that, just, you know, after we didn't live at home anymore, we still kind of congregate at my parents' house for Christmas. Um, with the exception of there's been like, I think two, two Christmases where we didn't do it at my parents and one of them was um, a couple years ago when Jeff and I bought this house we thought it'd be fun to kind of like do Christmas in our new house so that was one year and the other year is kind of a funny story so um, I thought it'd be appropriate to kind of share that with you guys today so there was one Christmas and this was when my sister and I were in college and we both went to the same college and we actually shared an apartment but it was like my sister and I and then there were two other roommates as well um, all kind of sharing an apartment in well, near the school. I'm not going to tell you guys where that is. I probably shouldn't just reveal where I live on the internet. Um, but in Ontario. And um, over the Christmas break, I remember this was... Uh, I had to stay at school a little bit longer than my sister did. I think, I, if I remember correctly, it's because one of my... Sorry if you hear noises. Once again, those are my cats. I also have the dishwasher running, so I hope that's not too distracting in the background. I'm just going to talk over it as much as I can. So I know this is going to be kind of annoying to watch, but um, anyway, I had to stay a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure it's because one of my exams. Um, so if any of you are in college, maybe you can relate to this, but the exam schedule is kind of... It's not like the rest of the year. Like they kind of plan out all the exams um, and they just tell you your exam is on this date at this time or whatever and you just have to go. And it's not like the usual class time. It's like a totally different day and time than you're normally in class. Um, so my last exam of the semester was really late. It was like the very last day of exams. So it was like I don't know, the 21st or something of December. It was like the very close to Christmas, but my sister, I'm pretty sure her last exam was like the 18th or something. So I think she went home earlier. Like she had already gone home for the holidays and I was still at school and my other two roommates had also already gone home. So I was just there by myself. I was like the last one there. And, um, uh, my dad came to pick me up cause I didn't have a vehicle at the time. Um, so my dad drove up to pick me up after my exam to go home for, for the holidays. And, um, the weather was like really bad like driving home was like really difficult because there was just so much snow and ice and ice mainly and like it was just like freezing rain and stuff it was just really really bad weather and bad driving um and then when we finally got home uh we walked in the house and there was no power and we're like oh you know like winter storm like power goes out and my parents house was kind of like in the country too so like we were prone to like a few more power outages than most people got. Um, so it wasn't like a huge 
ordeal. We were just kind of like, oh yeah, another power outage, like whatever, we'll just sit around and read a book or something for like a couple hours till it comes back on. So we waited and we waited, but let's not forget it's winter at this point, it's cold. So like when the power's out, there's no heat. So like it's starting to get cold in the house, you know, it's getting late at night, um, power's still not on, power's still not on. So we're like, shit, okay. So we all just like get bored and like go to bed because at this point it's like nighttime. So we're like, well, fuck this. Like we can't watch TV, we can't really do anything. Let's just go to bed. And I'm pretty sure we went to bed that night and the power just never came back on. So we woke up and it was still off and we're like, okay, like this sucks and it's freezing. And then at this point we kind of had heard the news that there was like widespread power outages in our area and it was going to take a long time to, it was like a huge, it was like a huge blackout because there was this ice storm and the ice had just weighed down on the tree branches that were cutting off like the power lines. So like a lot of people didn't have power. It wasn't just us, but like we were kind of like the last priority to get it going again because we were out in the country. So obviously like the electricity people like wanted to get the cities up and running first and we didn't live in a city. So we were just kind of waiting it out and they actually had to open up shelters in um, like local uh, high school gyms and stuff like that for people who didn't have power because like it was getting so cold. Like it was like, and the, and people couldn't cook or anything because they didn't have power for their stove or whatever. So there were like like shelter temporary shelters being opened up for people. And anyway, so while this is all happening, we're kind of like trying to figure out what to do. It's getting close to Christmas at this point. It's like a couple days away. And uh, we decided like, since my sister and I had an apartment in the city where we went to school, we were like, well, should we just like go to the apartment? Like at least there's power there and there's like a TV. We don't have to sit in like a high school gymnasium with like nothing to do, you know, like in a like temporary shelter. Like we can just go to our apartment like cause we had power in the other city. Um, so that's what we did. So we packed all of our gifts like into the, the cars and took like basically just took Christmas with us and went, sorry, there's a piece of hair floating in my face. Oh God. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, we packed all our Christmas gifts in and, and like basically brought Christmas with us over to our apartment in our college town. And, um, thankfully like our two other roommates weren't there over the holidays. They had went home for the holidays too, but, um, I don't think they would have minded that that much. It's just that we also had like a dog, like a big dog. Um, so we were kind of like, well, shit, like, cause my apartment didn't allow pets, but we're like, this is kind of like a weird situation. And like, I don't think they're going to notice. So we just kind of, we brought our dog anyway, and we just brought the dog. Um, and it worked out because my sister and I just both slept in my room together. And then my parent, my sister had like a double bed. So she, my parents took the double bed and then we just crammed into my room, um, together. Um, but yeah, since we shared the apartment, we had, we each had our own bedroom. So we were still able to separate and my parents would have their own bedroom and whatever. Um, yeah. So that was like one really weird Christmas. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell that story. Oh, and to finish the story off. We did not get power back at my parents' house that year until like New Year's. Like it was out for eight days. Um, so I don't know if it was exactly New Year's. It might have been a little bit before, but all I remember is that it was eight days straight of no power. So it was um, a rough one. So I'm, I'm really glad we ended up making the decision to just go back to my apartment. <laughs> um, it wasn't the most comfortable, obviously, for my parents. And we had to use like a ghetto, like student housing crappy stove that was like, a hundred years old and really gross. And like, if you've ever been into a student apartment, you know that like when it's like shared accommodations, like, and there's someone in the house that's not the most tidy or whatever, it's just, it can get really gross. And then obviously the other people are probably not gonna pick up the slack and it, it was just, but you know, it worked for, for that one year. But anyway, getting back to my main topic, which is um, what my family normally does for Christmas. So we all get together at my parents' house. Um, but in the last couple of years, it's been a little bit different just because my sister and I both got married in the last few years. Um, so now we're trying to incorporate obviously our significant others and like their Christmas planning and stuff. Um, luckily for me, Jeff doesn't really do a lot of Christmas stuff with his family. Like we see his mom on uh, Boxing Day every year cause she kind of comes to see um, 
Jeff's sister who also lives near us and then we just end up seeing her at the same time and sort of that's how that kind of plays out um, and then Jeff's dad is is no longer alive so we don't do anything with his parents were separated before that anyway so it would have been like two different things to have to go to but now we just do something with his mom on Boxing Day and she comes to us which makes it so much easier and uh, yeah and then we do Christmas Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day at my parents and my mom, like, she's a pretty good cook, so she makes, like, a big, like, breakfast, like, with eggs benedict and orange juice and um, cinnamon buns and, like, all homemade stuff, so that's pretty fun. Um, my sister's husband this year, um, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. I'm not too sure how they're going to do it. This is their first year being married uh, over the, the Christmas holidays, and I know last year... He did sort of a Christmas thing with his family in the morning and then just joined us for dinner. But I think now that they're married, they want to do everything together, right? So I'm not sure if they're going to be coming for the whole day or if they're going to do similarly, doing something with his family in the morning and then our family after. I'm secretly hoping they're going to come for the whole day, though, because my sister and her husband live in the same sort of general area as my parents, so they get to see each other all the time, like my parents and my sister and all them but like Jeff and I are the ones that live like a couple hours drive away from any of our family so when we actually make a plan to go somewhere for Christmas like when we plan to go over to my parents or whatever like we're it's like a big outing for us and so it doesn't happen very often so I'm really hoping that they can come to some kind of agreement where they spend the most time like at my parents house so that I can get a chance to actually visit with them. And um, then usually my grandma comes over for dinner and stuff. And yeah, that's kind of what we do for Christmas. Um, I would love to hear other people's Christmas traditions. I love hearing how everybody celebrates differently. Um, even if you're not like Christian or you don't celebrate Christmas, like let me know in the comments, like what I guess is your biggest holiday of the year. Like for our family, Christmas is the biggest holiday of the year. It's like the only one we really make a big deal out of. Um, we, we like do the occasional like Easter and Thanksgiving and stuff like that, but it's like one of those things where if, if somebody missed it, like if I had to work or something, which has happened in the past, like, and it's Thanksgiving or something, like nobody really cares, but like Christmas, <clears throat> Christmas is one of those ones where it's like, no, there's no way that I'm gonna miss out on that one. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below how you guys uh, celebrate the holidays. And um, let me know what you think of my makeup because I got a little experimental today with it. The, I hate how the colors don't show up on my camera. It's the worst. It's actually like kind of a bluey purple with some gold on the inside and like a little bit of gold down here and stuff. But like maybe it'll show up better. Maybe it translates better when I actually upload it. I don't know. Probably not. But I'm like unsure about it. I got like I did something a little bit different than I usually do and went a little crazy. But... I'm like torn whether I like it or not so let me know in the comments what you think um project panning is coming along really well like that's kind of what has been inspiring me to get a little more creative with my looks so I can't wait to do an update on that I know it's still such a long way away but I still have a long way to go like I haven't made a ton of like visual progress yet so it's not like you guys are missing much um all right so that's all I have for this one um I'm guessing not a lot of people are going to watch it because you'll all be busy doing Christmas stuff but if somebody did happen to watch this today I hope you had a Merry Christmas or are having a Merry Christmas and enjoy the rest of your day with your family and I'll talk to you guys in the next one okay bye